get the eye that have found it. Ryan Elias has reacted well at the back of that, but he's lost the ball on the floor. Scarlet's really not helping themselves. Dan Goggin beats one, gets over the gain line again. Ball is so much cleaner for Munster. Chance for them to try something in midfield is Matt Gallagher, the fullback. There's Angie Simon. He's got his hand on it. Picks it up like a little pea. He's had a good game with Jeremy Lockman as well. He's been everywhere. This is what Munster did very, very well in the opening quarter. Well, Scarlett will knock that on. Steph Evans couldn't take it. And it's Munster ball again. Coming down the blind side. Gallagher into some traffic. It's a knock-on advantage. Don't go anywhere. It'll be a scrum. But it is Munster. And they're looking for a fifth score. And that in midfield is Captain Jack O'Donoghue breaking through tackles. Where's the support runners? Decide to put a kick through. And it's not a bad one. Jonathan Davis is back there, but he hasn't got his hands on the ball because Liam Coombs has grabbed a second try, showed some speed and some skill to gather that, and he's crossed for Munster's fifth. What an exciting bit of play from Munster. That's the second time we've seen a forward make a break and then have the confidence and the awareness to put through that kick. I mean, we can't say enough about Jack O'Donoghue, can we? In defence, he's incredible. In attack, he's elusive. But look at that kick through. Oh, what a regather there by Liam Coombs. Fantastic. This is a team playing with confidence. You put in a kick through that, especially like a flanker, that's because you're enjoying yourself. You're backing yourself. 